Scottish actress, Bridget Forsyth, passed away on 1 December 2023 at the age of 83. She was best known for her roles as Thelma Ferris in the BBC comedy Whatever Happened to the Likely Lads. Her other credits included TV dramas playing The Field and Boon. In later life, Bridget Forsyth played Madge in Still Open All Hours, appearing in the BBC comedy from 2013 to 2019. English actor, known for his long-running role in Emmerdale, Steve Hallowell, passed away on 15 December 2023 at the age of 77. He was best known for portraying the role of Zach Dingle, the patriarch of the Dingle family and the father of Kane, Belle and Sam Dingle, in the ITV soap opera Emmerdale, which he played from 1994 until his death in 2023. Steve Hallowell was one of Emmerdale's longest-serving actors. English actor, Doctor Who star, Richard Franklin, died on 25 December 2023 at the age of 87. Franklin was best known for portraying Captain Mike Yates of Unit in Doctor Who from 1971 until 1974. He also appeared as a regular character in several high-profile British television programmes, including Crossroads and Emmerdale, where he played businessman Dennis Rigg. Franklin also has multiple big screen credits including his final, portraying Death Star engineer Ciro Argon in Star Wars film Rogue One. In addition to his work as an actor, Richard Franklin was also a writer and political activist. Stage and screen actress, Shirley Ann Field, passed away on 10 December 2023 at the age of 87. Shirley Ann Field was best known for playing Tina Lapford in The Entertainer, opposite Laurence Olivier. She also starred in films such as Alfie, opposite Sir Michael Caine, Saturday Night and Sunday Morning, alongside Albert Finney, and in the romantic comedy My Beautiful Laundrette with Daniel Day-Lewis. In more recent years, Field starred in the 2014 short drama Beautiful Relics opposite Flora Spencer Longhurst. Antiques Roadshow porcelain expert, Henry Sandon, passed away on 25 December 2023 at the age of 95. Sandon joined BBC One's Antiques Roadshow in 1979 and made many appearances on the programme across 40 years. He was one of the most beloved experts on the Antiques Roadshow. Henry Sandon was a notable authority on Royal Worcester porcelain and also was a patron of the Museum of Royal Worcester. British writer, dub poet and Peaky Blinders star, Benjamin Zephaniah, passed away on 7 December 2023 at the age of 65. The dub poet, who also appeared in hit drama series Peaky Blinders between 2013 and 2022, where he played Jeremiah Jimmy Jesus, had been diagnosed with a brain tumour shortly before his death. As one of Britain's most prolific and outspoken literary voices, he dealt with themes of poverty and social injustice in his work. Benjamin Zephaniah was included in the Times list of Britain's top 50 post-war writers in 2008. Irish children's show host, comedian and musician, Frank Twomey, died on the 11th of December 2023 at the age of 68. Frank Twomey will be particularly remembered for children's television show Bosco, which ran from 1979 to 1987 and in which he appeared alongside the inquisitive puppet. In later life he was a regular on the Funny Friday segment of Joe Duffy's Liveline, where he impersonated public figures. TalkSport presenter and commentator, Russell Hargreaves, died at the age of 45. Hargreaves was a TalkSport commentator for more than 10 years, covering golf, football and his passion rugby. He had spells as a presenter of TalkSport Extra Time and TalkSport 2. British musician who co-founded the iconic rock bands The Moody Blues and Paul McCartney's Wings, Denny Lane, died on 5 December 2023 at the age of 79. He had lung damage caused by interstitial lung disease. Lane played guitar in The Moody Blues and sang their hit cover version of Go Now. He was later Paul McCartney's longtime sideman in the ex-Beatles solo band Wings, 
and co-wrote one of the biggest-selling songs in UK chart history, Wings Mull of Kintyre.